What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is a little bit different video, kind of going back in time to what I did a few times early in my channel. But before I go any further, make sure you click that subscribe button and ding that bell so you know when these videos come out. You gotta get those notifications so you know when these are going out. But what we are doing today, a dive video. A lot of people have requested them. It just takes a lot more work for me to get this type of stuff set up. So this is going to be a uh, glue bed um, die with some uh, Pro Chem, something new to me, Pro Chem instead of I Die Poly. I'm going to use uh, black flag blue and pink red. And on this signal that y'all may have seen in a video already, I'm going to figure I'd go ahead and die since it's a really good white disc. But the things you will need to do this is some sort of bowl that's really big, big enough for a disc to sit in it. This is an ultimate frisbee. You can pick those up at Walmart or whatever. You're going to need this clear glue. Um, it's just, I got this off of Amazon, so you just need this clear glue, a straw, and of course, your dye mix. I got these glass bottles off Amazon. They're like beard oil-like bottles. They've got little um, pipette things in the top. Um, that's pretty much all you'll need. I learned this dye by watching a couple of random other people's videos uh, along with uh, reading some stuff off of uh, the Facebook group from the Disc Off Dyers uh, page. But um, we're just going to go ahead and see if we can get started on this and make a cool dye because this produces some pretty neat looking dyes here. So let's see, I'm going to start this. I'm going to do a little bit of something different too. What you're really going to need to do, there's no uh, scientific method to this part. I'm not, why is Siri always listening to me? You're going to take your glue and just pour it in. Uh, I usually just do this by look, just get the whole bottom uh, covered and just have it to where it's thick enough that uh, when you set the disc in you know it's going to be sitting on glue and not touching the bottom of the uh, disc like the uh, Ultimate Frisbee. And it's hard to tell but that should be deep enough. I've done, I don't know how many dies, uh, probably close to at least 10 with this one gallon. So it'll last you a pretty good while. There's one thing that you can do, I don't think I'm going to bother with doing it right now because I don't have a ton of bubbles, but if you've got a torch, just blow torch the top of this uh, glue real quick if there's any bubbles that'll pop them. So I'm going to start. There's not a real good like pattern that you do with this. It's just like you start dropping dye into it and you get the design by blowing it around. So I'm just, uh, I think you can kind of make a uh, pattern with it. It helps like the way you uh, drop it in. But for me, it's not crazy complicated, it's just you kind of put it in and then you get the design from blowing it around. So let's see what we can create here. I believe I'm going to kind of do it different and see what I can do. I'm going to do kind of like a circle, half blue, half red, pink. And sometimes after you let it sit for a little bit, uh, it's good to go back over it again just so you make sure you get a good amount of dye in the glue. That's just what I do. I don't know if there's uh, a big reason to do that. And I might drop like a couple in some other places. 
So that's red and blue. I might do one blue dot somewhere uh, after I do. And then I like just throwing a little bit of black in. Gives it some cool looks. Just like a a dot in a couple of spots. And we'll see how that ends up looking. I'll do a couple more in the same spots. So if you've got any questions about this, I'll try to uh, answer these in the comments or anything. Uh, if there's a lot of questions, maybe I'll do a separate video on it, but I'm not extremely experienced with this type of dyeing. That's just I'm experienced in dyeing and I kind of learned this and just kind of wing it. So, ah, I gotta get me a drink. It's good to let this sit for a little bit too, so. We'll uh, give it just a second, but this thing is crazy. That signal in the video, this is a hyzer flip to roller. I think my buddy Goose, I'm going to let him uh, get this off of me, so hopefully he enjoys it. I'm going to try to do a really cool dive for him. So whenever you do blow this stuff around, you gotta you got to give it some wind. I gotta tell you, you gotta give it some wind. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start. And this is all just like the artistic side of it. You just do whatever feels natural to you. So I think I've got this moved around as much as I'm going to get it. Uh, let's see if I can maybe zoom in. If this doesn't work, then uh, I'll just show a picture or video from the other one. You can barely see it. but So now, of course, you always need to clean your discs pretty well. I always use dish uh, washing soap helps get the uh, oils off the disc if you've touched it and stuff so the way you want to put this disc into the die is you want to go in at an angle i haven't done it on this disc but it helps sometimes to put a couple pieces of like um, painter's tape that you can hold on to and just slowly put one edge down you want to kind of this one doesn't really matter but wherever the the coolest looking part of the die is it's in here you want to if that's where you want uh that's what you want on the disc you want to make sure you lay it in this because it's going to be bigger so now i'm going to pick my spot and try to go in at an angle and just go the reason you go at an angle it kind of uh reduces the amount of bubbles you might get uh pop up so i'm gonna try just to hit it right here and as soon as you touch the glue, don't pull back up. I give it just the slightest little touch and 
that's it. I'm gonna leave this probably for about 24 hours and then I'll come back and pull it. Where it's a white disc, it should take the dye pretty well. So uh, probably doesn't have to stay as long as another disc might. But uh, yeah, we'll check back in about 24 hours and we'll see what it looks like. All right, this is day two. We're about 24 hours um, into this dye and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and wash it. Um, I do want to put a little side note in there to like the straw portion of me blowing around. Uh, I've not done it before, but I'm pretty sure you can take a toothpick and uh, use it as well. So I might do that next time. And I think the toothpick kind of works for more to get the uh, really um, even sweeps through the dye. So I might try that next time, but we're uh, gonna go wash this disc and see how it looks. So, this is it. I don't know how much it got. Very nice dye. And it's a pretty easy dye for you to be able to do. Uh, you just gotta get, like I said, glue and some like pro chem dye and acetone and uh, a straw or like a toothpick to be able to stir the uh, dye around but I mean it produces some really sick looking dyes so I hope uh, old goose ends up liking this but that's all I've got um, you guys let me know what video ideas you want me to do um, I know you I know a lot of people like the dye videos it's just uh, how easily it is for me to get to them uh, it's one of the harder dyes for or videos for me to set up so I can do them but it might take me a while to get to another one so that's all I got. Till next time, guys. Peace.